Hey there folks, I'm to this video, this one here is a general notice where I look ahead to the coming week, look back at previous stuff and talk about a topic that's on my mind. You can find the timestamp for this week's one in the description below and I'm going to say that as a kind of lead into my first point. I need to be more on top of things. Uh, one of the problems that I've got is a lot of my content has not really had the kind of turnout that it needs because of the effort that I'm putting in. And I need to figure out what's going on with that for me personally, but I also need to figure out what's going on so that I can get back on top of stuff. I need to reply to comments because so many lovely people have been leaving comments that I haven't gone back to. Oh. Another thing is people are messaging me on other social media. I don't check my Facebook page. I get notifications for it. But people are messaging me on there. I need to get back to them. I need to get back to my emails because I've been getting so many spams on the actual email. I need to clear that out. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's a massive pain. But, yeah, I need to get more on top of that. And in terms of content for this week, I've already done a stream today for BUSR's um, ACC GT3 or GT, just GT Endurance Series because Dion's in the GT4. Uh, there's the GT4 event on Friday, which is Bathurst, I think it's the season finale. And then we've got Daytona 24, Saturday through Sunday. I might do a couple of other bits and pieces, you'll find them... Anything that's streaming on YouTube will stream on Twitch. I'll be doing some things that will be Twitch exclusive as well, so make sure to follow me. You should be able to find it in the description below if you're looking for it. And... Yeah, in terms of content, Randy Monte Carlo. I might actually do RSRBR because Randy Monte Carlo. Depends on how I'm doing with deadlines. But I will be in an R5 this season, and that's going to be quite fun. Never going to compete for like a class victory or something, but... Let's see how it goes, eh? First time properly competing in this rig. And, yeah. I think that's mostly what I wanted to talk about in terms of looking forward. And, I guess, looking back as well. I need to make sure that I work on me. And work on my stuff to do better and be better. Thanks to the coverage, or thanks to the reception on coverage for Dakar 2021. What I might do is I might try and do like daily reviews for the WRC. Uh, I'll see how that pans out at first though. But let's talk about the topics on my mind. And it's in terms of motorsport, but also sporting events more generally, which is should events go ahead as planned? I mean, we've seen cancellations, we've seen postponements. I think the Australian Open starting with uh, tennis players taking their quarantine periods in Melbourne and I think those kinds of things should happen in some respect should be respectful to what each national government wants to enforce but they should still be able to go ahead and I'm not trying to say this in a kind of the, the problem I have is I'm personally concerned with things like reopenings, like the kind of reopen everything and let people go out and about, because I have concerns that uh, this is being done to sacrifice life at capital gain. And it is. I mean, if you look at the kind of people who are the richest in the world, the likes of Bezos got so much richer after the pandemic. So many different people got so much richer because of the situation we find ourselves in. Both personally and as companies. And we need to recognise that because that is a massive concern, a massive problem for the world around us. But in terms of these kinds of events, yeah, I think they should go ahead. But I'll say this right now, I don't think the British Grand Prix should have spectators this year. If we couldn't get a Rally GB together because, or a Rally UK because of the Funding, but also because spectators and stuff. We shouldn't be doing the same thing. For, we should be trying to get spectators in for the British Grand Prix. I think F1 races should run without spectators in a lot of countries this coming year. And... I don't see many people saying that. I guess we don't really want to think about it too far down the line. But I'm looking at Rally Monte Carlo, and to be honest, I, I understand the calls for Rally Monte Carlo to not happen. 
I mean, the British teams had problems getting out to France, both because of restrictions on UK travel for the UK's UK government's handling of everything going on, but also because Brexit. And we're starting to see the effects of that. And I guess the effects of Brexit are that tighter restrictions can happen in the UK as well. Or at least easier. They can happen a lot easier in the UK, should I say. But yeah, Mario Monte Carlo is a good example of where they're meeting local government restrictions. They're matching kind of what there is in Monaco and in France. And that's kind of what you need to do. Screw it, that's really what you need to do. They've done both responses to government responses to pandemic, but also in regards to environmental stuff as well, which has been brilliant. Oh, the second round happening to the Arctic Rally, that's going to be pretty cool as well. I haven't done a video on that yet. I need to do a video on that. But yeah. Uh, didn't want to go on for too long with this week's one because I want to make sure I get it out nicely and on time. I think they should happen, but I think we should see a lot more cancellations and reschedulings or events run without fans. That goes for WRC, that goes for F1, that goes for touring cars. I don't see the BCCC making the May start with fans. Which is annoying because I really want to go to a Froxton season open. I think that'll be really cool, but yeah. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comment section down below. And uh, thank you for watching. It means a lot to me. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.